council that they're now looking into. Nathan? Yeah, the council's special committee on public housing just discussed this. They actually passed that resolution and it basically starts the process of looking into what it would take to create some kind of a, 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 an enclave in the city to, to help unhoused people. They say this winter has become an emergency situation for them. There are more people seeking shelter this winter, but fewer resources to help them. Stephanie Boyer runs the Restart Shelter in Northeast KC, which is getting more than five times its usual number of calls for help each day. Definitely throughout the course of the pandemic have continued to see the numbers rise for every population and from every spectrum from prevention to those seeking emergency shelter. Downtown KC has also noticed the need. Sean O'Byrne is the director of the Downtown and River Market CID. The organization has expressed support this winter for emergency shelter space, possibly something resembling the tents the city of Lawrence built in the fall. We think that there's a need for temporary emergency housing, something that's sanctioned, something that's warm, that gets them out of the elements. Today, Councilman Brandon Ellington brought a resolution to a special committee on public housing that would start the process of identifying a site for a shelter, such as a public park. He says he's working on a proposal for something more permanent. He called it a holistic approach. If we we're able to create this homeless enclave with permanent fixtures of mental health and uh, social uh, uh, service providers there, it should reduce the amount of dollars that we spend in the city when it comes to recidivism. So this proposal, this resolution actually uh, lets the city start looking into some possible sites as well as associated costs with, with building a facility and possible ways to fund it. Reporting live in Kansas City, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Nathan.